It had taken Lauren first, though he didn't know it then. Didn't understand the dead look in her eyes. That unnatural, wooden, lurching motion as she moved about the lab. Of course it was too late when I learned to read the signs. Most of the crew were in its power already. And I'd paid a terrible price for my blindness. Was I the last? I could hear their footsteps on the snow outside my cabin. Leaden steps, moving as one. Not safe here. I'll make for the lab. Ah, oh. ah, ah. Pain, throbbing from the gaping hole in my stomach. That could have gone better. Dr. Turner, open up! My eyes, swimming. I almost black out again. Come on, Jim. There's nothing to worry about. Harris. Open this fucking door, James. Or whatever it is that's living in his body now. I clenched my teeth against another wave of agony. Keep it together. First things first. Gotta get this bleeding under control. It's not important. I'll leave it alone. The door's stuck fast. Need some... A rusty screwdriver rattled around in the toolbox. A collection of papers on the ancient fungi, buried deep beneath the ice, would have been the culmination of a decade of research. The better part of our lives together. I'd never finish now, but perhaps I can pass on the torch. There's nothing... I can't think of a use for it. Okay, Wilkins. What you got for me? Kneeling down over the body, I noticed the telltale, inhuman signs on his face. He was also wearing one of those armbands I'd noticed on the others. Oh God, the stench coming off him. Almost losing consciousness. Again, but desperate. I persist. I find the key in his jeans pocket. Looking at the radio, my heart sinks. A stray bullet had smashed right through it. Shit. Best leave her. She's running fine. Locked. The lock clicks open. My eyes flit hungrily past morphine, antibiotics, bandages. Someone had been storing lab samples in here again. Strictly forbidden, but the lab fridge had been on the fritz for weeks. The sample caught my eye. Thin, scarlet membranes stretched over a pulsating, bulbous growth. Ah! I wave away the cloud of crimson spores. Eyes, nostrils, throat burning. I cough, and the action triggers a dagger of pain from my wound. Still, I manage not to black out, and at least the cabinet's open. No time to mess with that. Found a small blowtorch. Refrigerated cabinet holds some antibiotics at a safe temperature. We keep a small supply of morphine on the base too. Reach. There's nothing. I leave her at the door with the screwdriver, but it's too small to be of any use. It's not locked. Don't want to waste fuel. Don't 
Então. There's nothing else used. It's not important. No use opening. Nothing human out there for a thing. Jim! Come on, Jim. I promise everything will be okay, mate. All Harris was a good bloke. Shit. Open the fucking door. I can't stand li Thinking the agony from the hole in my stomach. Gotta fix myself up. Morphine would only sleep. That one. That's. Can't do it. Refrigerated cab. We keep us. They don't work together. It's not going to work. Radio's useless. That's not going to help. That one. Can't do it. It's not. No time. I shove the barrel under the wiring. Can't reach. Can't cut it with my bare hands. They don't work. That won't work. Can't cut it with my bare hands. Stuck fast. Need the gun's empty. I leave her at the door. Don't want to waste fuel. Can't bear to go near the thing again. Can't bear to... Can't bear... Can't bear... Best leave her. Despite the tremor in my fingers... Radio's useless to me, broken, and I can't. It's not going to work. She's already opened up. Don't want. Can't cut it. That's not going to. They don't work together. I'm done with it. I'm done with it. I'm done with it. There's nothing else useful. There's nothing. I'll leave it. There's nothing else. The door stuck. The door stuck fast. Need something. It's not. Can't do it. That won't work. Don't want to waste. It's not go. Don't want to waste. That's. This binder only contained that it was still alive. God, I missed.
can't bear. The thing had just kept coming. Finally went down after I emptied my last five rounds into it, but not before it had gone. She's already lit. Can't cut it with my bed. Can't cut it. Can't do it. That's not gonna help. They don't. It's not going to work. That won't work. The gun's empty. Radio's useless to me, broken, and I can't fix it with my be She's already opened up. That old girl. Refrigerated cabinet, we keep a small supply. That old girl. We've been shuffling around lab space. Showing results from my last batch of per- mm. High concentration. I'll leave it alone. No time to mess with that. Door's stuck fast. Need something to lever it. The door st can't do it. The door st that's not going to help. It's not going to work. The guns in. Don't want to work. The door st that won't work. The locker should have some useful supplies in it. They d That's not gonna- They- There's nothing. There's n There's- Found some mean looking wire cutters. Reaching up to cut the wire. Vast and terrible. That mere fleeting whisper of contact. A freight train roaring through my consciousness. I was drowning. From deep beneath my mind, I could feel that force animating my limbs like a monstrous puppeteer. Lungs burning, I struggled to the surface. God, was that what the others had felt? I've got to get help. Not going near it again. Need to cut out this fused wiring first. That won't work. Can't do it. It's not going to work. Need to cut out this fused wiring first. Snipping away the few. Let's see. Should be working now. Can't do it. I grabbed the receiver. This is Dr. James Turner from Station Theta 661. Do you copy? The welcome sound of a friendly voice comes through the static. Oh, thank God. I need evac ASAP. There's been... something horrible has happened. Yep, 
Tell the crew, do not land until they see... Repeat, do not land until they see Dr. Parker. Copy. Over and out. Thank God for that. Wavering on my feet, exhausted, I sink to the floor to wait. Sleep falls like a lead curtain. I snap awake. Something very wrong. The cold. My mind. My body stiff and numb. The pain like hot lead being poured over my hands. My feet. My f I struggle to move my limbs. Tearing myself away. The flame from the blowtorch isn't lighting the fuel. I need some kindling. There's fuel in her. But she's a tricky thing to get started. Need to find some kindling and something to lighten quickly. The cold. That. That won't work. They. Do the door stuck fast. It's not going to. Work. No use open, nothing human out there. F There's nothing else. There's nothing. It's not. Not going. Skin hung from his face like pathetic him. No. Can't bear to. No time to mess. That's not going to help. Gun's empty. There's fuel in her. Need to f***ing quickly. Can't do it. That's not gun. They... That one. Don't want to work. It's not gun. The flame... I'm done with it. We've been... Not going near it again. Not going... That won't work. I leave her at the door with the screwdriver, but it's too small to be of any use. It's not going to... Can't do it. There's nothing... No time. That's not going to help. They don't... It's not... Go not going near it again. I'll leave it alone. It's not important. No time to mess. There's no. It's not important. There's nothing else useful. That's not gonna. They do can't bear to go near the thing again. Can't bear to go near. That won't work. Tearing up a decade of work. 
There's fuel in her, but she's a tricky thing to get. Need to find some kindling and something to and quickly. The gun's empty. Can't do it. That won't work. Don't want to. That's not gonna. It's not gonna. Don't want to. Can't do it. They. Can't do it. They. The page is lit. I stand close until feeling returns to my face. I'll lose some fingers, but I'm alive. For now. Is that the evac chopper? I'll leave it alone. It's quiet out there. Time to go. I'm turning the wheel when I hear shouts and bodies slam into the other side. I throw myself at the door, but too late. Their worm-like arms twisting their way in. Oh God, don't know how long I can hold it. That won't work. I stab at a flailing thing, but to no... I stab at a flail... I almost drop the blowtorch trying to light it, but it flares to life and I hold it against the arm wielding that knife. I almost drop it, again, as the smell of burning hair and pork crackling fills my nostrils. Screams from outside, and the knife clatters on the floor. I make a lunge for the knife. Wielding the cruel hunk of steel, I shut my eyes and start hacking. The muffled screams from behind the door, the sticky warmth splashing on my arms. Finally, I feel the door slam close behind my back. It had worn the same armband. They all did once they turned. Another one of those fucking armbands. Full box of cartridges inside. There's nothing else you... It's loaded. And I'm ready as I'll ever be. Weapon shaking in my hand, I swung the heavy door open. He's coming out. Jim, put it down. Look, Ben's here. No. Dad, it's me. I'm coming in. No. Mum called before. She... I just got in. No, Ben. Get out of here. Run. Dad, put the gun down. They... they killed Kathy, Ben. Dad, it was an accident. They... they told me what... Look, it wasn't your fault. Dad, what are you doing? I... can't fight it... much longer. Dad, you need help. Please. Drop the gun, Jim. It's your son for fuck's sake. Can't think. One of them now, too. What? Hands shaking. Every synapse in my infected mind urging me to pull the trigger. I gaze at my son. He'd lost so much already. Ben. Oh, God. Ben. But that wrongness is in his face. And... What's that band on your arm? What? It's nothing. What are you doing? Drop the gun! I can't let it have him too. Not our son. <laughs> 